Welcome back for sports. It's been nearly a decade since the Buckeye Panthers have had a winning season, but they've been on an upward trend in each of the last two seasons. In today's Sin La Summer Camp Series presented by Farm Bureau, we head to DeVille, where the hunger to win is higher than ever. Here's Dylan Domingue. The 2023 Buckeye Panthers have their eyes set on something that has not been done in program history, becoming the first team to win a playoff game. The Buckeyes never won a playoff game in the history of their school. As many of those awesome years as they had, so that's a goal for us. Receiver gets to a different spot. In Ben McLaughlin's first season as head coach, the Panthers went just three and seven, narrowly missing the postseason. But the players feel as if they left some wins out on the field in 2022. We're like a first half team most of the time. We come out, we have everybody playing both sides of the ball, so everybody gets tired. We're, he's really just trying to get us to work and hold it together and do the entire game and push through. The Panthers lost several key seniors from last year's team, but perhaps none bigger than Xander Smith. Smith was the team's quarterback and kicker, but was also a ball fucking defensive back with a sin law high 11 interceptions last season alone. But make no mistake about it. The strength of this year's Buckeye team begins with Gage Vircher and the defensive line. Everybody's taking stuff more serious. They're, they're trying harder. They're, they're not just here. They're here to learn and here to work. We've got eight or nine guys that we feel like are on the bubble of playing varsity. And so, you know, when we play an odd front, so that's three defensive linemen, that's five. You know, some of the guys are going to go both ways, but we've got enough depth that we can keep them fresh, too. As for the offense, the Panthers turn to the baseball diamond to find their new QB1. Adam Broadnack steps in under center, having never thrown a pass, but his head coach believes he has all the tools to be one of the best in Central Louisiana. And he's as natural a ball thrower as I've coached. And I'm talking at any level, junior college, Louisiana college, Ash, he's as good of a, of a thrower. He's so smart, he's so competitive. The sky's the limit for him. It's pretty focused, you know, he's, he's easy with me. He takes me through all the steps. He takes me through everything that I need to know. And once I know it, I get, I, I'm pretty locked down. I get to do my job, so. Broadnax now gets to pick the brains of his head coach, who just so happens to be the most prolific passer in Louisiana Christian history with over 10,000 career passing yards. With that kind of mentor, Broadnax feels confident it'll all translate to more wins this season. Covering our Sin Law Summer Camp Series, I'm Dylan Doming for News Channel 5, your local station.